Hi guys, this is Sunil Kamma, the DevOps guy. Today I will be talking about Boto3, setting up Boto3 and writing a small Python program which creates an S3 bucket in AWS. So I expect you to know what AWS is, basics of Python and S3 buckets. All right, this, this is not a tutorial about AWS or Boto, this is about setting up Boto3, setting up environment for Boto3. Cool. So let me get started. So uh, as I told you, uh, Boto3 is a SDK, software development kit for Python, using which you can play around with AWS. So to start with, I will create an IAM account in AWS. Create a user. Let me give it programmatic access and all the other access as well. Custom password. And I'll give it a full access. I will anyways remove it after the tutorial because otherwise you will get to know my secret password and everything. Secret key and everything. I'll, I'll create a user. So this is where this is the console I'll use to log in. Let me save it in a file. And this will be my access ID. And a secret password. Cool. So I have created the IAM account. Now let me install Boto3 which is very simple I'll use install it using pip install Boto3 I already have python on my system and I already have pip as well so pip installs Boto3 it's, it's very uh, it's that simple uh, it should happen in a couple of minutes I believe yeah yeah Boto3 is done so to connect to AWS either you have to set up AWS CLI on your local machine or there's another way which I will be doing now. So you have to create a dot AWS folder. Get rid of that folder and you need to create two files. Credentials wherein your uh, uh, access key and secret keys will go and then there is config where your mm, uh, let's say your region will go or any any other AWS related configurations will go cool so let me get into credentials let me create default credentials AWS access key ID equal to this will be my key this will be my secret password right. AWS secret access key All right and then I'll go to config wherein I will again create default configurations and I'll just mention the region region can be anything whichever suits you I will use US the East probably I can go for West as well one so that's it we are ready we can now write a python program which connects to aws which uh, connects to im user and it 
creates an AWS S3 bucket. You can you can use Python. You can go to Python S3 libraries wherein you can find all these. So uh, I will be creating a S3 resource and I will be creating a bucket. Create bucket and use this function. You can play around with this. Okay. So to start a program, uh, vi test boto new dot py. First, I have to import Boto3. And I create a S3 object from Boto3. Boto3 dot resource S3. Okay. Let me then create equal to S3 dot create it is create bucket sorry and I will use of this I can use any one of the locations. Let me use US West 2. You can use anything. Let that be the location. And let me give a name. Name as a name bucket. New bucket maybe. New bucket. And I will give it. I'll give it public read write. Okay, so this should ideally create a bucket in S3. You can actually, uh, I can actually use a for loop to list the buckets for I in yes three dot i know the function so i'll be directly using you can you can just look up buckets dot all in this i will just print i dot name cool. so what i'm doing is i, I have created a s3 object and using that object i have created a bucket i am giving it a public read write and the name will be bucket new and create bucket configuration so i am i am giving this uh, us west 2 and uh, for i in that all buckets i will be just printing out the bucket let's see if this runs ideally it should run uh, python it's taking time Ah, we have an error. Error bucket. It says error occurred. Bucket already exists when calling, which is strange. Let me give it a different name. Bucket new bottom. See if this works. Wow, it has created a bucket boto test oh it has already created a boto test maybe uh, i'm not sure how this happened i believe this is because in my before before doing this video i was trying it out and i created a user maybe because of that it took that name all right so it has created a new bucket boto and it has displayed the name let me go to my aws console and see if i'm able to see those buckets services yes three cool so it's a new bucket boto so that's what he has created cool 
So today we studied about setting up Boto3. It's an AWS SDK for Python. So all we did was uh, install Boto3 and create these two files. Dot AWS. So config and credentials. In credentials, we gave uh, AWS access key. Credentials. We gave AWS access key ID and also AWS secret access key. And we wrote a program which connects to AWS and creates a bucket. So that's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and comment on the videos. Thank you.